Now let's look at this determinant. And we want to use the cofactor expansion method to find a determinant. And when we look at this determinant, we find no zeros over here. So if we use the cofactor expansion, we're going to have a lot of calculation over here. So instead of doing it directly, we remember three properties for determinants. If you add a multiple of a row or a column to another row or a column, the value of the determinant doesn't change. And if you swap two rows or two columns, then you need to have a negative sign in front of the determinant. And if you can find a common factor in one row or one column, then you can pull that factor out. So we remember these three properties, and we're going to perform row operations first to create zeros. All right, so now we know the leading one is a good one to have. So let's look at this one, and then we're going to do the following thing. Okay. So we are going to multiply negative 2 and then add it over here to create this one over here, 0. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, so negative 2 times r2 and add to row 1. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And since we can do several rows at one time, so we're going to do the following thing. So we're going to multiply negative 3 to row 2, and then we add it to row 3. Okay. The last one is easier. It's just use last row, that's row 4, to subtract row 2. Row two. Okay. So negative r2 added to r4. So let's do that one. That means the only row that's not changing is row number 2. So we can look, row number 2 is not changing. Negative 1, 1, and 2 over here. Okay. So now, negative 1 times, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. So this one becomes 0. Okay. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. 2 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 1 over here. So this is negative 1. We do these things slowly so we don't make any errors. And this one over here is 0 again. And then negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and this one becomes 1, okay, for the first one. Now, let's do this. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 3 is 0. And negative 1 times negative 3 is going to be positive 3, plus 2 is going to be positive 5. And then 1 times negative 3 is going to be negative 3, and this one becomes negative 1, because when you add 2. And this one, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 1, and this is going to be negative 5 over here. All right. And we can see if we just make one error in calculation, we're going to ruin the value of this determinant. So be very careful. Now 1 minus 1 over here is going to be 0. Okay. And then 1 minus negative 1 is going to be 2. Negative 3 minus 1 is going to be negative 4. Okay, and negative 1 minus 2, this is negative 3. Okay, so this is going to be fine. All right. Now we can use the cofactor expansion. Look at how many zeros we have in the first column. How nice. We have just 1 over here. But remember, start from this first entry over here we have positive negative so this one cofactor expansion we have a negative sign negative sign and one times a smaller determinant this time in fact we can simply go ahead and across delete this one and delete this one because anyway we're not going to use them and then here we have zero zero one and we have over here zero negative 1 and negative 5. And then we have 0 and negative 4 and negative 
three. Okay. Uh oh, we got it wrong. We got it wrong. Um, I deleted a wrong column over here. Let me see if I can recover. Okay. So what I should have crossed out is this column instead of the other one. So this one should be gone because it's the first column, second row, not this one. So let me try to erase it over here. And this is the one we still have, in fact. Okay. All right. So what do we have over here? We don't have. We have, don't have these these things over here. All right. I think the last one is fine. The last one is fine. So what do we have over here for the first column? We have negative one and five and two. And second column we have zero and negative one and negative four. Okay, I think this time we got it right. Okay, so this is negative one over here, and this is gone anyway. Now what we do? Um, we now look at the first row, we can expand it along the first row. So this is going to be negative sign already over here and expand it along over here so we have negative 1 and now we have a 2 by 2 determinant so negative 1 over here, this is gone, this is gone, so we have negative 1, negative 5 and we have negative 4 and negative 3 Okay, and then negative. this is positive, negative, positive, the cofactor sign so we have over here again the negative sign and one times what we have over here. Remember this negative sign comes from this one over here. So now we have five and negative one over here and two and negative four. So we have these two cofactors. Okay. Now let's go over here and then look at this first one. We have positive three and then we have minus over here 20 okay minus 20 over here this is what we have and look at the second one over here we have minus put a pair of parentheses around it we have negative 20 over here okay and then what we have over here is negative 2 so we have positive 2 over here all right so we have from over here we have negative 17 and here we have minus negative 18 and we end up with 1 and this answer is the correct answer.